Scotland have set very ambitious targets for net zero. The Scotland leasing round shows 25 gigawatts of potential development and only by big developments such as you have here at the Port of Nig, which has the natural attributes to be able to support those types of projects, can Scotland meet its net zero targets. The Port of Meg requires a new wet berth 225 metres long to a dredge depth of minus 12 so they can bring in the large vessels that suit the offshore wind. Also high loading on the quay, 50 tonnes per square metre, which is a challenge in design for our designers and for us to construct. Some of the grant funding that we received for the quayside meant that there has to be a very structured tendering process. The tender was sent out to multiple tenderees. We narrowed that down initially to five, then to three and then it was a very competitive basis to hone in on who the best contractor was going to be. The quality of Farron's response to the tender was exemplary and actually put them in very positive light with regards to the tender responses we received. Farron's were head and shoulders above anyone else. The tender price we received from Farron's, albeit it wasn't the lowest price, we were convinced that they could deliver what they said they could deliver for the price they said. Farns' experience in the marine sector is vast. Over the years we've done countless projects up and down the UK and Northern Ireland and all the big ports in England as well. This can't work as a client-subcontractor type relationship, only by working as a team. And Farns have been absolutely wonderful in that regard. They've been very, very accommodating to the requests that we've had for changes. They have been prompt in responding to any queries that we have. And the project management team are experienced and knowledgeable and can make those types of decisions very quickly. With most marine developments, there's always a challenge. You don't really know what you're dealing with until you start the project. And the fact that we're still on budget and we're still on schedule, considering we've done that through the pandemic, is a wonderful testament to how good that teamwork has been. It's our first experience of working with Farrens, but it's been a very good experience. I would definitely recommend anybody to work with Farrens, and we look forward to working with them and partnering with them in the future.